and welcome back, guys. It's me again to Joshua's Object Camp, Episode 10, Part 2. The Aftermath of World War Z. Spoiler alert! Did you see the nuke? If you answered no to this question, then go and watch the last episode. It'll explain why this has happened to our default screens. Well, do we have, have a new challengers approaching or what? We do, God. But before we do that, we have to jump to confessionals. Maybe they'll lighten my mood a bit. Maybe being the keyword. Orange James Brooks says, Yay, it's back! By the way, who was going to be eliminated? Cough, cough, platter. Also, I think my character is cursed. After working on Battle to Win a Worthless Island, Orange turned darker every time I made a new page. Join the club, Mr. Brooks! And now, Orange's words of wisdom with Orange James Brooks. Today's words of wisdom, everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. Maximum Token says, I was going to blow up the elimination area. Curse you, Z. Mm, that's a wonderful idea. Well, that was awkward. Adam Zephan Banks says, Cut my confessional. I suppose you'll cut this one, too. This may be a lame confessional. Also, since nobody got eliminated this episode, can there be a double elimination with the Paranel Platters lose? Whoa! You want to be one of the Mr. Banks? Her Majesty's Hospital Ship Britannic, aka the Object Maker, says, I got the least likes! I thought I was good! Also, thanks for liking me, Platter. It's time to settle it in Smash! Right then, it's time to see whether you guys had some very awesome suggestions that should make it into Smash Brothers 5. Or if you're that one guy that voted for the non-specific action figure on the Smash Bros. fighter ballot. For the purpose of these results, we'll be going in the order that they were submitted to us. The ratings will be sub displayed at the bottom right hand corner of the screen. Goku challenges fate, 7 out of 10 for the juicy oranges. Normal guy isn't very normal, 7 out of 10 for the juicy oranges. Yarn Kirby weaves into battle, 6 out of 10 for the paranormal platters. Waluigi wants to fight, 9 out of 10 for the paranormal platters. Woody will conquer all object shows. 10 out of 10 for the opulent orbs. Inklings claim their turf. 8 out of 10 for the paranormal platters. Shovel Knight digs your grave. 8 out of 10 for the opulent orbs. Papyrus picks a bone. 10 out of 10 for the paranormal platters because I, the great Papyrus, Sorry, terrible imitation. Speaker Neo cannot be a star without an audience. 10 out of 10, juicy oranges. Maximum Token takes it to the max. 7 out of 10 for the opulent orbs. Mirror Token is impossible to hit. 6 out of 10 for the opulent orbs. Red really wants to kill you. 6 out of 10 for the paranormal platters. Oops, my bad. Daisy charges on, 6 out of 10 for the opulent orbs. The final averages. First place is the juicy oranges with an average of 8.5 out of 10. Second place is the opulent orbs who are just below them with 8 out of 10. And the paranormal platters come in third, which means they're up for elimination once again with a score of 7 out of 10. And these people are up for a double elimination. Since nobody except Mona Lisa has a token, I won't bother to show it because I'm going to remind you of it right here. 
Oh, my bad. That's the next slide. Yeah, apparently it was brought to my attention by Mr. Brooks that Neptune has not done three challenges in a row. So sadly, his character is up for re-signups. It's been nice having your old user around while it lasted. Also, a message for Mona Lisa, your gold token can only get rid of one person. The host and myself will decide the other one ourselves. This is also subject to any logical consequences of picking the wrong person. This only applies if you choose to use the gold token, though. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for an early release of Part 3. Sorry, Pickle Power, but we had no other choice. The good news is... I finally finished that thumbnail gallery I wanted to make.